Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing uh, what's in my box. So I'm going to pull out some things. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we definitely won't. Oh, that's one of those. Oh, I love those. Okay, I will do something. Oh, bags. Yay. Okay, let's finish those off. I love those and that. Okay. I wonder what I was going to do with that. Maybe make a side tuck. I don't know. And we have these. And maybe we won't do that. That's one of those pieces I think I showed you that I just collaged on. Uh, I'll leave that. We did that sort of thing last week. So how is everyone? I hope you're well. We are well. And um, just, you know, spent the morning tidying up my mess. Because I was in a big mess, especially after yesterday. I couldn't even come in here. It was terrible. I think I may put that there. Beautiful old piece of little piece of 1600s paper. So that's going to go there. And then what would I like to put on this bag? I love these. I need to make some more. I know I've got more here. Here's some of the other ones. I haven't used them all yet. Let's just revisit because oh I see I just put a little bit of fabric on them. That one I didn't put anything on it. Oh, how cool are they? All right. Well, we can do that. A bit of fabric and a bit of lace. Let's see then. We're not lacking in any of those things, are we? It's a lovely piece of lace. I don't, that's a bit big. I don't know that I want something so big. I have this little piece. I think I like that bit there. Okay, wrong glue. Where's my other glue? Yeah. And then afterwards I'll put a little staple in there. And glue that on. Okay, cool. Very simple. Next. Oh, let's have something down here. Shall I put that over there? And so, wait, I've switched my labels around. I don't remember which one they're in now. That's not them. Put those over there. I think it's this one. See, I'm not even going to decorate this book. I just love the colour of it. Actually, I might prefer it over there. big okay as you see I need to print I said that last time and I still haven't done it no okay empty that one is that what about a little piece dangling down we haven't done that I love this this is beautiful very fine lace I won't be able to staple it, so I'll just put plenty of glue and that will have to dry because this this lace has big gaping holes in it. So I'll put that aside to dry. And I don't think I want anything else. Um, unless I would like maybe a little piece of that. Oh, I like that up there. Okay. Come back and staple that one afterwards okay put 
that aside. And then we have this one. Oh, what's this? So I would even use that, yes, with maybe what pieces of hemp do I have left over? That's a piece of silk. I didn't even realize I had these um, bags left over. So we'll put this first. I don't know if my staple will go through this. We shall see. We'll just let that dry. Okay, so they are done and they are pretty quick things to do. Put all of the fabrics back up there out of my way in my little to-do basket, little used basket sort of thing. And let's have a look at this. Now this, I think I was going to make it a side tuck and it's very crooked. So what I might need to do is grab my cutter. Yep, and just trim a little bit off. So it's a bit less crooked. And then I'm going to grab my hole punch, my circle punch. And I'm going to finish embellishing it. So let's see what scraps do I have here. That should be in there. not finding a lot in my little scrappy pouch maybe that I haven't used that for a while okay better start making Christmas soon but I'm not quite ready to do full-on uh, Christmas videos I know some people have started um, Leslie has been going all year. Uh, I don't know how you do that, Leslie. I just don't have enough space to have it pulled out all the time because it would be quite beneficial to do Christmas all year. Um, once, you know, sort of once a week because um, then you'd have all the stuff ready to go. So I just want to pop over here to my ephemera. I don't, ha I, know, I know they're heavy. I don't have to lift them very far because they are here right next to me and I want to go actually more to the back I think I am doing French Chateau journals at the moment let me see if I have anything in here that I might like to put on there no I need something that's vertical um, anything here I don't think so they're my tags. I did keep those together. I do have my other tag book, as you know, but I kept them together um, so that I, you know, when I'm working on my French Chateau, I could pull out. I think I might put that there. There we go. See, don't have to lift it far. It's all good. I'm going to put those scissors over there because I'll start snipping paper and they're my good fabric scissors. And I think I'll use my wobbly edge ruler, ruler my de wild decor edge I should say ruler this one actually I couldn't even tell you um, what it where how I got it I got it I bought it on AliExpress this one and I was literally I don't know a euro or 90 some maybe some cents or something like that um, and I didn't actually buy it on purpose I bought it just to have as a little ruler because it had the grid on it thought that could be useful and when I received it 
I had the extra bonus that it has one edge that's um, got the little you can't see but it's, it's not straight so I, I was so excited about that but I didn't do it on purpose Oh gosh, I shouldn't have been gluing on there. That's all sticky. Put that there. Get rid of that piece of paper and grab a wet one because it's all sticky. Okay, first I'm going to use this to flatten it. And then afterwards, if I want to, I could put a, um, I could put a, um, what do you call it? A um, um, label or something up there, but I, I will think of, excuse me for the weird noises. So I have these things that I absolutely love and I could cut them into tags or I could fold them like this. I may have to, you know, make sure everything's glued properly. I think I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to do the same with this one. These were the straight edge um, collages that I did. I must have done them not that long ago. This one is just wanting to fold there. I may add a tab there a bit like it's a file folder. And we'll do this one as well. This one I will try to fold in half. Of course, it's a little bit rigid because of the to fold because of the okay and isn't that lovely this one I'm going to cut into tall tags but we won't do that today because we did tall tags last week so what I want now is some plainish paper to put inside and oh I'm you know I'm not lacking for that I've got some look at this poor paper here this is going to be good I'm going to glue that in there but I'm not going to go across the middle, although I should actually. Oh no, it's got, this one's fine. It's got um, paper across because it's, it's vintage paper and we don't want it to crack. So this is gonna be fun, um, gluing this one because it's all crinkled. So I'll just have to be very careful because I'll be ripping it. It's, you know, fairly fragile paper pulling out all the folded bits but I like using these things I wouldn't throw it out I just couldn't you see it's just been flying around waiting to go somewhere it's I can't tell you it's changed position on the floor in my room multiple times it ended up because I'm not using my garbage bin at the moment I have a paper bag here because I did my Christmas ephemera holder I haven't shared that with you yet I did that last weekend and um, and that, oh gosh, it just takes all day to do it. It doesn't take long to make the thing. It takes a long time to organize the ephemera. That's what takes a long time. So um, I um, I had to have the, you know, like a paper bag so I could just directly throw all the backs of those um, pockets and um, just, just throw them straight into the garbage bin because into the paper bag and then put it in the paper rubbish because we've got you know out the good thing about Italy is well actually we have to have five bins we have paper we have um, glass plastic um, then we have organic and then we have mixed rubbish because um, out the front of our place we're lucky we've got them right out the front we don't have to put our rubbish in the car and go anywhere um, we've got all the bins for all the different things actually and they've got a bin for um, uh, if you've done been frying, like any oil that you've used for frying, you put that in a back in its bottle, and then you put that in a special bin. And we have glass. Oh, I said glass. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. I just put it all in the paper bag, and then take it out to the. Well, actually, that's Steffi's job. He has a job. That's his job. He cleans the house and he takes the rubbish out the front. Sometimes I do. If I'm going out and I have free hands. Um, I will take, if there's some rubbish ready to go, I take it out. But usually that's, Steffi does that for me. It's very kind of you. So I'm gluing this one over here. We have a nice writing spot there. Now, 
We'll let that dry a minute and then we'll finish it up. It's not finished yet. So let's put something on the inside. I have some more of that paper. Will I use that? No. I mean, look at the state of it. So it's been flying around. It's even been in my little garbage bin um, waiting, waiting to be used. Um, let's see what's in this bag. This bag has um, all kinds of papers. There we go. That one's thicker, so I would use that for something else. This one's thinner. And I am going to just fold it up like that. I'm not, put, again, I'm not, um, yes, I maybe should go across the center of that one. Whoops, that's not tearing very well. I thought it would tear better than that. Um, I will go across because I can see it's cracking. It's a cracking paper. Not in the cracking sense of the word, the other cracking. You know, it's a cracker. Like in Australia, you say if you're, if you're a cracker, means like you're on, you're a fireball, like you're, you're fantastic. That's a cracker. Cra this is a cracker glue, like it's a great glue. Not that I ever use that term in that sense, but you might hear that. In the lingo of the land. Okay. Right. Right, this is, I, it's cracker in the sense of actually cracking. There we go, look at that. And that one's going across the center because it's cracking. I can see, I don't know if you can see it there, but it is. And it would eventually come apart with usage. So put that one over there, let that dry because that's going across. And how's this one going? This one has paper across it, so we are fine. I'm going to glue this one here and then I'm gonna put something else. But I will, because I don't want it to be too thick, in the center, I'm going to leave little gaps. So I tear that down there and glue two separate pieces. Okay, and then we need to put something across the top. Let's see. Hmm. Only little pieces in here. tear that one in half and that would do the job. Actually I think I might keep it with the the lines. I think someone drew a margin there. It's probably some sort of accounting or something. Okay. Now, let's see what's going to happen now. The fronts of these are already um, sort of, you know, they've got their collaging happening. So I don't need to really put decorative papers, but what I would like to do is put a focal point, just one. I might use a birdie. We haven't used a bird for a while. I'm already thinking I might like this bird over here. So I'll just keep my finger in there. 
Mm, I do love this one as well. Let's audition. I think this one. No, the other one. Okay, I'm going to use this one. So we will go no further. I need my fussy cutting scissors. It won't take me long. I always cut out this bit first, if I remember, because that is, you know, it's easier while you've still got all of this to hold on to. Once you start snipping away, it starts to become a bit more flimsy and just chop his sharp claw off. I can't be bothered to count, cut around that. Be careful not to chop his leg off. Oh, it's a funny one today. The dogs didn't start barking the minute I, I started videoing. The other days they started barking right away. Okay. And I just want to snip out that little bit there. And a bit more of that. Okay. So we will glue our bird. Oh my goodness, tomorrow is already, um, just the weeks are flying. It's already Roxy's Journal of Stitchery again. Oh, I'm thinking I've got time and I don't. I will fold that round. And now I'm going to put some sort of label. Oh, I might like this one. And I do. We're going to go down the blue road. Why not? So we're still going to be having quite warm weather right up until the beginning of October. So, I mean, it's cool at night, which is really nice. It already makes a huge difference. Um, but, isn't that pretty? Um, it is um, going to be even up to 30 in some places, which is quite hot, for especially for end of September, October. Now I could just put one of these there. Not that one. And of course they all came out, didn't they? Do I have any? I don't have any big ones of the other vertical one. Oh, you silly goose. This one. Nope, nope, nope. I, must, I was going to print before I came in here and then I forgot. Let me just see in my other labels. Let's not forget those. And you know I went and bought double-sided tape because I was doing the... Oh, look, they've emptied out because I've, I've moved. What did I move? I moved... Um, oh, I moved all the labels in there. The other labels, the decorated ones. They've all moved into the other one. I could have something like this. Yes, I like that. It's the colour thing. That's upside down. I will try to put it up the right way up when I glue it. Gosh, when you want to organize yourself, because I accumulate things, of course, don't I? And then I hoard them. I don't move them on, they get, they're hoarded for quite a while. Um, and then I get out of control. So I did spend the whole morning pretty much from 7.30 until 11.30 organize, reorganizing one shelf in my cupboard. I've got to change my system with my fabrics and, um, and, and so that took a while. And then I had all these um, trims and laces and things to tidy up. So I did that and that took until 11.30 all of that. So I didn't get much done in my craft room today. 
Now I'm going to snip. I wonder what it would look like if I snip there like that. It would be quite good. Oh, I'm liking this. Now I didn't, of course, I didn't do this straight, did I? So I guess it's not folded straight. I think I'm just going to trim it. And make it look straight, even though it's not. I need to get these curling corners in there and snip them off. Curling corners are no good for this. There you go, got it. So, then when you open it, you see you get the little pattern there and there. Oh, I really like that. Cute little journaling spot. If you didn't want to keep it double, you could rip that off and that's pretty in itself. Yeah. So let's have a look at this one. This one I hadn't folded yet because... Now this one, I was going to use this punch, which I haven't used for a really long time. And I'm going to make a tab. What do I want to make my tab out of? We don't know. Um, and it took me a long time to, um, a long while to figure out even how to use it because I'm a bit silly. Oh, here we go. We'll do this. So let me take probably half of it will be enough. And then fold it over. And then you put it in this way. And you, the fold is here, and you just don't want to... If you go there, you're going to cut and you'll get two pieces. But because I want it double-sided, I, I want to have one piece that's still attached. So you put it there and punch it out, and there you have one piece that's still attached. It took me such a long time to, to, until I saw someone do that, and I was like, oh, ding-dong. It just never occurred to me. I can't remember who it was. In my older videos, I would have said it multiple times who it was, but I now don't remember because it's been a long time. And I haven't pulled it out for quite a while, but there we go. So it's a bit of a, a file, file folder sort of situation. These I'm simply going to snip like this. Snip that one. But what I might do there is put a decorative paper shooting down there. I think that's nice. Okay, so put that over there. Now let's see what we would like to do here. First of all, I think I'll put my decorative paper and I have lots of strips. Why don't I put that down there? That one or this one? No, the other one. Okay, I just had, so happened to have those floating about. So I'm going to go like this. Just eyeball and cut. glue I may need to snip the corners a bit there because I, I probably should have done that well I should have done that before I snipped the corners but it's no big deal oh it's wonky that side obviously I cut it off something in a wonky fashion. I didn't notice and I've glued it down now so it's no big deal. Okay so I'm going to fold that over because that's really sticky and I need a focal point here and I think on this one we may have some sort of flower, a nice big flower I think. So if I have any, I do, I've just got to find them like that. But that one Kind of well let's just cut it out and see scissors where did you go
yes I think I'm going to put that on there make a nice botanical looking journaling thing now another thing that you could do in these is you could add you know you could staple or stitch across um, some more of that there we go some more um, writing space there so um, let me grab some papers just to give you an example I won't do it in this one necessarily um, but just to show you, know, you could put a, not that color obviously but you could have some bits and pieces of paper I'm getting low in bits and pieces of paper and and then you just put them there and then you've got like a little thing that lifts up and it's got more paper in it but this is a nice writing space so I don't feel like I need to do that in this one and on the back I really do like that I think I'll just put some sort of little little label um, maybe not one of these no not a decorated label because there's enough going on but we have my other book here oh these ones I need to print out again too I keep forgetting something like that one very nice so yeah rather than cutting them up I'm making them into a sort of double journaling spot do I have one more to do I do so and that's it oh that was the back oh that was the front okay yes okay I did that okay that one's finished good okay confused myself because my mind was already moving to the next one put those over there and then we have this one now this one just simply needs a label there and we've got that inside and what will we have here maybe um To put a label there. Yeah, I need to reorganize this one. I think I might have one like that. Oh, we're doing all different things today. So with these ones, I always start at the pointy bit and then just wiggle my paper around not so much my scissors and I cut off at each pointy bit I find that's the easiest way to cut these they're never perfect but they are just fine okay and that one is going to go on there Just trying to see I think it might go that way looks like an urn I'm just gonna have it go over there there we go so that's that on the reverse side let me have a look let's revisit again over here put that up there have lots of things that I could draw from oh I do love this too I think I might put that there that was quick that's from one of my Italian kits now what's happening here oh see it already it's split there that's okay what I will do is um, I don't need it there I need it that way um, is put something to hold it together there you go I was saying the dogs are quiet well they're back 
and they're all going. It sounds like there's three or four dogs there. So one of you mentioned in the last time we had the barking dogs that it wasn't allowed in the in in their area in the states, and I'm wondering how it was illegal to have your dogs barking. So I was wondering how do you how do you do that? Like how do you not have your dogs barking? Um, how do you stop them? Is my question. I guess you know. Yep, keep them inside. Um, I guess that's what I guess that's the secret when you're at work. Keep the dogs inside. But I, yeah, I was wondering how that would work because that would be quite hard. What if they just started and then you couldn't stop them? And then you can, and then the police come and you get a fine. Okay, I think I'm going to put some of this, just this bit of the Amity with the blue and the beige and the peachy colour. And that is going to go across there and hold it all together. So, and I better put a bit inside simply because it's sticky. There we go. I always see it as an opportunity to add some embellishment when something breaks. I love that. Now, what I wanted to do on this one was, oh my goodness, you're probably saying, oh, don't do it. You're terrible at it, but I'm going to get this and punch this it. Just one, just the one. Okay, it needs to go there, I think. I've got to concentrate when doing this. That one needs to go there, I think. Okay. So we've got the decorative edge. See? And that edge is longer now. And then I'm just going to snip these corners so I don't get curly ones. And I like to snip these ones. Yeah. And that is that one. Cool. And that's all curling up. I'm going to leave that. That's nice old paper. Very nice. Where's the rest of my stuff? Okay, over there. We're, I'm going to do a little bit more. I wasn't going to do that one. I've done those. That's plain paper. Put that over there. Where do my other bits go? I think I lifted them up here, put that over there. Ah, I wanted to do this one, and I might do this one. This is going to be a pocket, so I could do a pocket that way, but it would be a big journal, or I could do a pocket that way. I think I might do a pocket that way. I'll use that side that way. Okay, so this is a side tuck, so this just needs a little, it doesn't even really need anything, but it's going to have something, a little something. Um, because you know it's me I have to put a little something on there um, it could just be there's the bells guys oh it's already midday <clears throat> oh, I'm moving a bit slowly today um, oh no I guess we've done a bit no I'm not putting a label I changed my mind I'm going to put a flower I get to a point where I start to feel like I need to, I've used that one, um, that I need to print out more. I do get to that point. Oh, I quite like that. I like the blue and the peachy reds. And I'm going to use, instead of mine, I'm going to use a, and where did I put them before? Here. Um, I think I may use a Tracy. Oh, here we go. Opened right up to her page. They're getting low, but I'm going to let them go lower because otherwise I always use the same one. I think I prefer brown after all of that. Because I always, look, I don't have hardly any green left. I have, I have very few blues, I think very few reds. I'm going to use a brown. I might use, no, not that one. For the heavy bordered one, no. Oh, maybe this one with the little swatchy bit on it. Yes, yes, I do prefer brown don't know why I just do and I'm going to glue the label down first and then I'll put the flower on
lucky yes i'm overlapping it just a little bit and i love that pocket it's a lovely botanical style pocket yes okay so that's that one and now this one literally has nothing on it so i need to sort of i've got a bit of blank canvas here i'm going to put i'm going to start with book page it's always a good place to start Definitely. It's like a blank canvas, isn't it? Just start with a piece of book page. That's my recommendation. Just gets you going, put it off to one side, up, down or wherever, and then you can move from there. Oh, that piece is already folded, huh? don't really like that one on there anyway so we won't use that one oh look at this pretty trim Could have a little bit of that there and maybe maybe some sort of bird I haven't been into the owls lately no, it's not big enough. Let's see what's happening in the other bird book. I may not like any birds. I'm not going to use a blue bird because we're green and red here. Oh, I know what bird might be good. Use that one for ages. Where is it? It's at the back. I know it's at the back. Here it is. This bird. This bird might be good. Actually, this is from one of my papers. Yes, let's just, if I see tear it a bit more. I don't know what paper that is. I can't remember. I'd have to find it. going to stick that there and then have the trim just slightly coming over it there we go decision made can I glue here no that's a bit sticky over there but if I stay over here I might be all right Trim a bit of this off and use that. There we go. So there is my side tuck. Okay, good. So, what did we get done today? So two side tucky, different types of side tuck pockets. Put all of that over there. Um, this is a bit like a file folder. That could actually have a, a nice la a Tracy label on there. I might come back and add that. So that's that one. We did this one there. We did this one with the decorated edge, different look to it. And then we have this side tuck here. And then we did the three bags. Oh, I need to staple those. Where's the other bag? It was up here drying. Okay, so you always get quite a bit done in this, don't we? Is it the same for you guys? Do you get quite a bit done when you do it? Ready, set, go. Really hard. Oh, it went through. Yay. I like the look of the staple. That's that one. And... And there we go they are stapled and i love those and so those are finished off now this one i would just paper clip in and just have that hanging down i paper clip it to the page and have that hanging down the bottom coming out of the bottom of the journal there we go so 
I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I will see you again soon. Bye.